Hi everyone, Michelle Crafty Servings. And we got Cash here by me. He was getting really anxious sitting here waiting for me to type my stuff in. I hope you come on and say hi. Say hi to Cash. This, I got this, I think at Joann's. But you know how you sometimes buy extra and you have the extra laying around? That's what we're doing. And we're gonna take this off. You can get, like I said, I think you could use most any skin. I'm just looking if the raw end is out somewhere. I don't see that it is because you want to tuck it in if it is. I don't see that it is. So we're going to use this. We're going to use a styrofoam egg. Yeah, Cash is cute. He knows he's cute. <laughs> so we're going to use the styrofoam egg. And what I'm gonna do, and we're also, so we're making a pumpkin. This is gonna be really quick um, and easy and cute. So I've got these stems. Um, let's see, I got I got two stems. Maybe I'll, I'll use this stem. Um, and all I'm gonna do, so this is gonna be, I'm gonna put the fatter down to the bottom. I'm just gonna make like a little indentation in here. Just because I'm gonna have to glue it in. So it's not gonna, you're not going to get a lot, you know, real deep in, unless you have um, a stick that doesn't have that on. But um, and all I'm going to do is stick that down in there. All right, we we don't want to push out the bottom. So I'm going to stick that in, and you're going to see the top. You will see that, but it'll. We're going to close that up. So jute. My famous jute that I always use. This is gonna be really cute, really cute, I think. I know, I, I practiced before, but I only just did this part. I didn't do the decorating on it. So I'll finish decorating that one too. All right, so I'm gonna leave this up taller because I'm gonna be using this as my top um, to twist. Now, it might take a little bit to get the hang of it and I'll probably hold it against me to do it, but I'm gonna be holding that up and I'm just gonna wrap this around the bottom and then I'm gonna make just a, a, a twist. So I'm gonna do um, two more on the side. So we got one in half, so it'll be like in thirds. So we're gonna, and so I'm, that top one, when I bring that around, I just, I hope you can see what I'm doing. So I'm holding that up and then I'm gonna turn it a little bit because that's what's holding that in place on top. Okay, and then we're gonna do this last one yet. Cut it off. I think we need a sharper scissor. Good morning, Patricia. Patricia, drop your link too. I taught myself knit and crochet. Oh my gosh, that's amazing when you teach yourself. All right, so I said I just oops. Get that back where it belongs. I'll show you after I tie it. So then you still have that long one up here and you've got this last one that you cut off and we're gonna tie that. All I did was twist it each time around the end that I had because that's what's holding it in place on top. All right, so, and you can see how cute that is. I said this is going to be quick and easy so we just tie that and you can see it's already looking like a pumpkin I mean untwist this jute if you don't want the jute to show you don't need to do it all right you got it yeah it's really you just use that string to and you twist each turn because that string is holding it up up here Now you still see that egg a little bit, but it'll be covered. And there's all kinds of things you can use to decorate on here. All I did was untwist that jute. That's already cute. Let's just do a little decorating. Uh, this is not a long live. Um, okay, so we're gonna take this and put this back in here. Um, yeah, we're gonna do that right away. I thought my glue gun wasn't working. I need another glue stick. Okay. And I'm just gonna hold that in place. And that's why I made that little indentation in there. Isn't that cute already? 
you can make it a shorter stick if you want, but my cutter wasn't very good. You could use one of those wimpy, limpy stems that I did with the jute too. That would be cute. All right, different ways to decorate it. Now I've got, let me let me show you. I've got this one here too. See, I did that with the, the same thing, but only a different color. Isn't that cute too? Let's, let's do both of them. Now this one, I did not make an indentation. I'm gonna try and do that right now. But it also has the egg in it. Egg just helps it hold its shape. Oh. I think if you have the indentation, it stays in there a little better. All right, so these are the leaves I chose. The lamb's, the lamb's ear, is that what it's called? Lamb's ear? Um, these are from lamb's ear. Yep, I got these from Walmart. And they're actually really, really nice ones. So I'm just gonna take, I'm trying to think if I'm gonna do one leaf at a time. Maybe here I'll do two. I'm not sure if this is, oh, it's not wire. I can just pop it off. <laughs> that works. So we're gonna put that in here and I might put one more. I just like the color. It's so soft and pretty. Um, and I think we're gonna do a large one too. That one went good. Um, let's see. There, I think we'll be good. Okay, the other thing we're gonna use is some raffia. You could use Spanish moss or something. The only reason why I decided not to use the Spanish moss is I don't wanna get that down on the yarn. Once you get on the yard, you're gonna be picking it off all day. So I've just got a bag with some raffia in here. That's why I chose the raffia. You know I like messy raffia. Anyhow, I think we're gonna, you know, I think the easiest way is I'm gonna just keep it messy again. Pull out another piece. I'm just trying to think of the easiest way you know what, I'm gonna do it as a bow. I'm gonna do it as a bow. Okay, so my I do messy raffia bowls all the time. I'll just sort of pull the ends in. I actually, just try, thinking to myself here, sorry about that. Yeah, I love the lambs here too. It really is, and it's so pretty. This one is really pretty. Um, some of it isn't always the prettiest, and but this one is. All right, so I'm just doing this bowl. I'm almost debating. I really, really like that, though. I like that in there. And I'm going to do it on, on both just to make them similar. Almost debating on really, I'm really going to mess this up so that I think. You could almost put it underneath the stem. You, you could do that. I probably could still do that on this one. So this one we're gonna do, but if you really mess it up, look at it's really turning out cute. I think that we're gonna do that. We're gonna add that on there. So I'm just gonna really mess this one up too. I'm gonna put that one in on here. And then that gives the effect of the moss. Like I said, yeah, Tracy, I think it's cute. All right, so, and all oh, these are just so cute. And I'll show you, I've got one thing that we'll set it on just to make it cute. You could put it on the pedestals or anything like that too. All right, so I'm just gonna add in this lamb's ear now. You know, I didn't make that wimpy, um, <laughs> wimpy stem like I did the other day, the limpy stem. Um, but this one almost is, is limpy because I didn't get the hole in the styrofoam. <laughs> That's all right. Okay, we got that. And we're gonna add, you know what? So 
I'm gonna add the leaves to this, Bob, one more. I have, okay, so you could do, if you don't have stems in your yard, let me give you other ideas. You could do cork. Now, if you wanted, you could add, like this one, you could, look at how cute that is. Add a little pine cone to it. Isn't that cute? Um, but I got two things to add, one on each one, I think. So this was Hobby Lobby in the fall section. I love these things. Um, they're just these little picks. If I can pick them apart. So they're three ninety nine, but fall you know is um, on forty percent off. I'm just using one of these. Man, that stuff. Okay, if I can get it up here. <laughs> All right, I guess I'll cut it off where it is. I don't need the whole stem anyhow, but that was being difficult. Okay, I think we're going to stick this in like this. I just want to see. And I'm going to leave I'm going to leave that on there. I think that's actually really cute. We're going to stick this in maybe opposite side of these leaves. I'm gonna put a little glue and then I'm gonna stick it down in that styrofoam too. If I can get it down in there. There we go. Is that cute? And then we'll add, we'll do this. This one won't have a button. We'll add a little pine cone on here. So let's add, you know what? Um we might add, so, and you can always add, look at, you could add, you know, little flowers, little sunflower, if you like sunflower. I think, um, okay, we got the pine cone. I was gonna add the pine cone with the button, but I don't think so. There's leaf, oh, that's really cute. Look at this leaf button. I might do that on the other one though. Look at that leaf button. That's on the other one. Isn't that cute? All right, I think we're gonna stick with this one. We're just gonna do the pine cone. Yeah, isn't that cute? And I don't know if it's even really a feather, but speaking of feathers, that's what I'm putting on the other one. Okay, so we're just gonna add the pine cone. Now you could add more. I only have the one up here. All right. So there's one, easy, quick, right? Um, if, now let's do this one. So I already had that. This is just really, really cute. I love this leaf, can you see that? That's in the button jar that I get from Walmart. That's gonna be here. So that's gonna be on the front of there, so you see that. Um, okay, so the other thing, so I'm just trying to piece it together. Okay, I used these picks last week. These are feathers. You get this from Hobby Lobby for 99 cents. And I thought that would be really, really cute in here also as just something, instead of doing the tendrils. Now you certainly can do tendrils on here yet. Use wire, twist it. But won't this be cute? So we're going to, we don't need this as long either. But I'm gonna add this in here. Okay, that's gonna go in the styrofoam too. But I'll add a little glue just to keep it in place. These come in all different colors. Um, they have like a yellow, um, they had like a lighter brown, brown, like sort of like a brownish orange. Isn't that just really, really cute? That adds another whole dimension to it. Um, I don't even know. Yeah, I think I might. Let's see. I'm just looking to see if I want a leaf on here because I'm using this wood leaf. I don't know that I want that leaf on there now, though. The only reason why I put the leaf on is that it would blend in with this, that it would sort of come together with this one. But I think, let's just see. Let me just do a little bit smaller leaves and see if they work. I put that, I think, I think I could do that and I'll just have it up this way a little bit. I don't want it to cover that other leaf I'm adding in. Let's just add a little bit of glue in there. 
I like that I like that they're littler. The big ones were too much. Yeah, you'll have to march. I did this one too. Yeah, okay, so let's just add this on. And then, honestly, I think we're done. I, I really think we're done. Um, oh gosh, that's gonna be cute. I'm gonna put it on and then I'll show you up close. And then we're done. Thanks, Mary. So these are, and you could get these in quite a few different colors, these, this yarn. And honestly, like I said, if you have a, or a skein of yarn um, that's left over from a project, that's what you can use. I think even the taller skeins would work. You would just have a taller one and you would tie it down. Um, I used a styrofoam egg in here. You could use a styrofoam ball. You could um, maybe wrap it around. If you have yarn that's not in a skein anymore, wrap it around. But isn't that just really cute? I love it with that leaf. And this was the other one. And you'll see, so the other thing you can do then, now to display it, I only have one thing to display it on, but it would be so cute. Um, so on the table, like on a centerpiece, let me just show you. So you see these a lot of places. You can also, you know, probably make your own. You can get, you get some pips. It would take a little bit to make your own. But this one I got at a little, there's a little specialty store in a city near me um, that I love going in. And uh, they have, you know, a lot of this kind of stuff. And so look at how cute that is. So what if you put this, when you, you put it on like a little centerpiece or like on a little burlap, and let me just see if, if I can put it on something so you can see how that would look. Look at how cute that would look on a table, like on a doily or something. Wouldn't that be really, really cute? 